Hi, this is Kevin Zahner. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I'm using one of the new Google Slides video tools. So, you could always insert a video using YouTube videos by URL, searching YouTube. But what's really nice, and that's not really what this video is about, but I want to just mention this, is that you can bring in videos that are on your Google Drive. Okay, that's kind of a nice thing. So, I've inserted this video from YouTube, and it's actually about a 45 minute long video, uh, ABC, uh, The Century. This particular episode is Evil Rising, about the rise of Hitler. Now, I have these questions that go along with it that I've been using, you know, for years. Uh, and, you know, the, the problem is, is people get bored about 20 minutes in. Kids, you know, e even I get bored of it after a while. So, I, I really wanted to find a way to chunk this. Is there a way to stop the video automatically? And I figure, well, Actually, with the new video options that, that appear over here on the sidebar, you can actually set it to start or end wherever you want. So I just copied this video and pasted this slide uh, several times so that I have several slides to work with, and I'm just chunking the questions. You know, the first couple of questions were uh, these first two uh, about uh, you know World War One and its importance to Hitler and uh, the stab in the back myth. Um, I found a reasonable chunk to stop, and I think it was like, uh, let's see, 6 minutes 42 seconds in. So, you know, we can stop the video, it'll stop automatically. That's, you know, my cue to go to the next slide and talk through these questions. Give the students some time to answer them on their own, and then maybe share with the neighbor, and then uh, report out to the class what they learned from their neighbor. We can start to get into uh, things, you know, attitudes about Hitler, attitudes about what we knew in the past about Hitler, uh, what we've learned now. There's a lot more to dig into when you stop the video as opposed to just watching the whole thing through. I even prefer shorter chunks than six minutes, uh, but this is a longer video and it's just the way it's made, it's, it's pretty engaging. It doesn't feel like six minutes, uh, which is the important part. So the next video, is, next chunk is going to start at 6.42 and end at 12.57. And uh, these questions seem to fit that chunk the best. And so my next task is to figure out where the next chunk is. Okay, and when I do, um, in the video, I'm actually going to make this slide right here, you know, start where this one left off. This one left off at 12.57. So this video will start at 12.57, and I'll figure out where it should end. Okay, and when I do that, I'll put a horizontal line like I did here, on the first two chunks, just so the students have that visual of this chunk of video, that chunk of video, and it goes with you know, these questions over here. It's important to put that stuff in. It's very simple, very easy, but the design helps them stay organized. Um, and you know, if you're not even, if the student's not even at school that day, it's not hard to figure out what we've done. We watch this chunk of video, then the next chunk of video. You know, these questions go with those. You know, it's it's easier for them to catch up, or for the student who wasn't quite present while watching it. If they wanted to go back and review it later on, you know, it's it's there for them to do so. So, I uh, hope you like this. Thanks for watching and surely uh, include some comments about how you use these tools or if you have any ideas, something I might have missed, um, please add to that discussion. Other viewers will definitely appreciate it. Thank you.